ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frank Klaas, Global Head of Communications, Jaguar Land Rover. Good morning. It's 11 a.m. here in Los Angeles. Welcome to the Jaguar Land Rover press conference. We come here with a great deal of momentum. Our brands are regularly here on the luxury scene in Los Angeles, down in Orange County, and especially in the most luxurious setting of all of them, Rodeo Drive, where last night we previewed for our VIP customers and international press our exciting new concept vehicles. Today we are pleased to present these new concepts here. And you will also hear from our CEO and our brand leaders who will share with you our vision as we embark on our ambitious product offensive. With that, I'm pleased to welcome the CEO of Jaguar Land Rover, Dr. Ralph Smith. Ralph. So, thank you Frank and good morning everybody. It's really great to be here, to be here again. I flew in from Mumbai in India where on Monday our parent company Tata Motors announced its second quarter results, which includes the profits of Jaguar Land Rover. And I'm pleased to say that Jaguar Land Rover the revenues were up, up by 30%, comparing to the corresponding quarter in the previous year, at more than 2.9 billion pounds sterling. Profit before tax for the quarter was 287 million pounds, better 23 million than in the previous year. And this financial performance is very good news. Very good news for Jaguar Land Rover. And it demonstrates the underlying strengths of our business as we continue to implement our growth strategy, which is of course, and I'm really happy to say so, fully supported by Ratan Tata, who is an inspiring and very, very innovative team. We are very proud to have great cars and great brands. So, for example, according to J.D. Power appeal study, Checker and Land Rover brands rank among the top five nameplates in the United States. This is recognition. Recognition of the strengths of our product lineup that has to be the priority for any global automotive business and priority especially for California. American, American customers at all, particularly those here in the Southern California area, are among the most influ influential ones around the world. That's why Checo Land Rover's clear strategy is to cement our presence here. Already this year, sales are up in the United States under the leadership of Andy Goss the new president of Jaguar Land Rover North America. And we are planning for further gains. In fact, we are bullish on the opportunities in the US market. And finally, from me, I must mention the Range Rover Evoque. The Evoque has really defined the premium compact SUV segment in a totally new way. Our order books are getting bigger and bigger every day. And this additional new vehicle symbolizes the spirit of the new Jaguar Land Rover. A company that delivers the ductive Jaguar cars and outstanding Land Rover experience at the absolutely highest level. It's a business with real plans, plans for growth, not just volume, 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 but sustainable growth and sustainable profit. Global Brand Director, Land Rover, John. Thanks, Ralph, and good morning, everybody. You know, it's a great time to be leading the Land Rover brand. 
Land Rover global sales so far this year are up 19%. And despite the challenging market conditions, our order banks and inquiry levels continue to grow. As Ralph has just mentioned, customer reaction to our newest model in the lineup, the Range Rover Evoque, has been quite exceptional, and nowhere more so than here in the US. You know, we were delighted that it recently won Motor Trends SUV of the Year. And we're also thrilled that it's just been announced as an all-star by Automobile Magazine. That makes 25 international awards already around the globe. An amazing achievement for a car so young. Now in terms of sales, more than 80% of Evoque customers are completely new to the Land Rover brand. They're attracted by the unique exterior design, the luxurious interior, the compact, compact size. But you know, the magic ingredient that makes the Evoque a true Land Rover is its all-terrain capability. Which brings me to the highlight of the Land Rover stand here in LA. Back in 1948, we launched the world's first mass-produced civilian 4x4. It became an international icon, now, now known as the Defender. It's become one of the most recognizable vehicles in the world, a metaphor for rugged capability and durability. Land Rover Defenders have crossed every major desert of every continent. They've successfully transported explorers, adventurers, scientists, aid workers to some of the most remote locations. And they've probably climbed more mountains, they've crossed more rivers and beaten their way through more jungle than any other four-wheel drive vehicle. More money than ever before on new products. And one of those new products will be an all-new Land Rover Defender. As we begin to develop the all-new Defender, I know that people will be asking if we're going to be true to our original core values. I can assure you that we will. Our ambition is to create a Defender for a global market that reaches out to customers in a way that's absolutely faithful to the original DNA. A Defender that truly embodies our engineering expertise in off-road technology. A Defender that's capable, durable, versatile and configurable. A Defender that will be responsible and sustainable. So I'd like to introduce the DC100, our Defender concept for the 21st century. Jerry McGovern and his design team have they've just done it again. They've just produced the Range Rover Evoque and now this DC100 concept. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, the DNA is truly clear. It's got short overhangs for good approach and depart ang angles, a high sill for good ground clearance, simple body side sections, a vertical rear, a plant on roof, great visual robustness. Concept. 
based around the same 100 inch wheelbase with a DC 100 Sport, we have tried to capture the Land Rover spirit of adventure for a new useful generation. It's a car That's defender but brings it bang up to date, relevant for a sporty modern lifestyle. Note the speeds of the profile, the cut down screen, the side windows, the fast pack, cabin roof line, enclosing a load bed ideal for sporting activities. General Land Rover, ladies and gentlemen, is a strong company, a company with two iconic brands. Both of these brands are so successful in the global automotive market because not only of the quality of the products, but especially also of this iconic design. So I'm pleased to say to you that both of the chief designers are here also for you for the international press. Jerry McGovern of Land Rover and Ian Callum of Jaguar. So it's possible for you to discuss with them, Mark, the global brand director of Jaguar, to show you what Jaguar is all about. Adrian, welcome. Needs more off-road capability. Uh, good morning and welcome to the Jaguar presentation. We're very excited to be here on the west coast of the USA where Jaguar and sports cars in particular have always felt very much at home. And it's on sports cars that we're going to focus today. In March, we launched the XK RS, a coupe car and the pinnacle of Jaguar sporting range. Its impact has been enormous. In fact, it's been a sales success in all global markets and we sold out for the full calendar year and model year that we're currently in. Incredibly, that's without any advertising per se, just press coverage and customer events. Word of mouth alone has underpinned the power of the Jaguar brand. But today, because we know that the US consumer loves such a car, we wanted to show you the first version of an open top car of this same model. Ladies and gentlemen, the world premiere of the XKRS convertible. So, it actually drives even better than it looks. It's the fastest convertible that Jaguar has ever produced. Its top speed is limited to only 186 miles per hour, 0 to 16 just over 4 seconds, and the motor literally sounds like thunder. This explosive performance brings with it an immediate connection to your environment that only a convertible can give. We already have the strongest range of products that the company has had on the road at one point in time in our history. On the stand today, you'll be able to see our top selling car, the multiple award winning XF Sedan. It's been significantly refreshed for 12 model year. New face, new rear, and a refreshed interior. Next to it, the highly acclaimed Jaguar XJ Limousine. Only recently launched last year, but already its performance character is being further enhanced this year with both sport and speed packs. So Jaguar, we have a clear vision of the unique position that we occupy in the luxury car market. Quite simply, in a marketplace of perfect machinery, we offer more than that. We're a different kind of animal. Exquisitely designed by Ian Callum and his team, exhilarating to drive, and an authentic pedigree. Our cars ignite passion in the hearts of individuals that search more than just pre premium technology. They, they demand a premium experience. Nowhere is this better expressed than our, in our latest production concept vehicle, the CX-16, which made its first appearance in Frankfurt just a few weeks ago. CX-16 is our vision for a compact rear-wheel drive two-seater sports car. We're showing it here today for the first time in a bright new livery to celebrate 
the Californian Sancho I didn't see when we came in this morning. It is as sensuous and as appealing as any Jaguar in our history, and yet it is as responsible as every new Jaguar must be in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguar CX-16. I think the white suitor 